It's time to level up the Imperium. <laughs> Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and we've got new 40K headed on into the reign of 9th edition. So we've got the brand new Ephriel Stern, and we're going to call him Kai Kaigano? Kaigano? I don't know. The Pariah, the Harlequin Pariah, the, the, strangely enough, the Eldar Camp play. <laughs> He's pretty he's pretty dope actually. And Lord Inquisitor Kira Draxus, the narrator of the whole Psychic Awakening saga from from the get-go, I guess what, last fall-ish? Give or take right there. Now these are the new releases uh for this week. They're probably hitting stores today, as a matter of fact. Uh, you know, it's uh it's July 4th-ish. And well, there's there's a lot going on. There's a lot to celebrate for sure. So uh, the new Ephraim Stern is fifty dollars. Of course, that's for the two model kit, and Draxus is thirty five. Now you can always get your hobbies for less at Miniature Market or DiceHead.com. So make sure you check them out if you can't scoop them up at your local gaming store. Uh, let's take a closer look at the sprues. We're gonna put them together today. Of course, most people already know the rules by now. They've been kind of all over the place, but I'm really interested in how big these are and how easy they are to put together. So first up, we'll take a look at Draxus. Now, this is a really interesting miniature. It's only gonna come on uh, one little sprue here in a 32 millimeter base. Comes with the little plastic black uh, kind of clam pack that we've seen in the past. A lot of folks, you know, they tend to think that she she's an Eldari, but I'm pretty sure she's Imperium. She doesn't have a little pointy ears and stuff, although this picture right here does make them look a little pointy because they're kind of uh, flexed out, so to speak, right there. But I don't know, just I haven't seen anywhere in the lore where it says that uh, an Xenos can be an Inquisitor, but uh, there's the sprue right there. It kind of looks straightforward, leg, leg, front half a torso, back half a torso. But we'll get into the nitty gritty here in a second with uh, the the instruction manual right there. So here it is, we've got uh, top, just looks like the top goes onto some legs here and it's the front half and then the back half with the cape, the little power pack, power supply right there. Uh, her arm with her, her little dragon or wyvern or whatever it's called and then the head goes on the top. So you could in theory do a head swap if you wanted to with like maybe a sister of battle or something like that. It's got this a uh, really cool looking skull over here. I think we saw a bigger version of that in that big skull pack they put out a while ago. The wings are a little wonky. It looks like there's a left and right half. That's the only thing I see on this to be really concerned about. Let's take a look at the sprue here. Uh, kind of zoom in and it looks like, I mean, pretty well, de pretty, pretty good details on the stuff. I love the little studs on the, the little dragon tail right there. And then the, the power fist is pretty cool looking there has to be another half to that somewhere i was just not seeing it right oh there it is right there okay she kind of looks tiny she looks teeny look at that look at little like little uh little almost like a i, I don't know kind of kind of not i'm not saying it's a squat but it looks squatty it doesn't look like something you would expect to see some imperium person it looks a little squished she looks a little squished in this i suppose i don't know just look at i mean look at the length of the leg like it just doesn't I don't know, nothing, I mean, the design and the detail is pretty cool. I like the plate and the, the uh, little Baroque little detail right there, but it, something about the, the the proportions on this just aren't jiving with my brain pan right now. I don't know, let's get her together and take a look. So there she is, all assembled, and I mean, it, the model doesn't look bad, obviously. I mean, I really do like the look of the plate and everything here, it's very different. Um, but definitely has some Imperium, but you know, some overarching kind of Xenos kind of tones to it. Trophy skull right there. Now you can see the gaps, you know, you always want to use a little thin cement. You can get this from Tamiya, your local hobby town, local modeler place, or some plastic putty. We've got all the links to that. If you're looking to scoop it up uh, in the description below in the comments field, of course. Uh, cape looks fresh. I like the power plant. I like the three dimensional look to this right back here. You can see that there there really isn't a whole lot of gaps or anything like that. Everything is pretty much covered up very well. And then up here, you can see the one little gap in the wings there that kind of kind of spotted in the, the instructions there. But everything else looks pretty dope. I mean, it, this would look good with a different head, although you'd have to be very careful because it is kind of a smaller style model. Now she does, I think because of stepping, it looked a little squatty. I didn't know what to make of that, but I, I'm not... I don't think it looks disproportionate now that it's together. And that's sometimes what happens with GW models is you see one 
angle of the painted version, you're like, that looks terrible. And then you get it in your hands, you can put it together. You're like, wait, it's, not, it's actually, this is pretty cool. This, this looks good. And I think that's kind of what happened here. So um, wingtip to foot, she's taller than a Primaris, it looks like, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> this is an impressive wingspan, so to speak. So pretty cool looking model. Uh, we didn't really cover the rules. We don't really do that a whole lot. But, you know, she's got the power fish. She's got the little pew pew. And you know she's not she's not too she's not too shabby to be quite honest. So I think I could see a lot of people buying her, but I imagine we're gonna see more people scooping up Ephraim Stern, which of course brings us to this new two pack model for fifty dollars US. So they look to be thirty two millimeter bases here. A lot going on in the box as far as that goes. I imagine it's a two sprue kit. If I had to guess, I would say very much so. I'm gonna come with a little. Uh, traditional little slider tray we saw something like this with uh what aramon and some other models there but uh, once you pop it all out you've got i don't know why they i don't know why there's three bases in there it should only be two but uh we'll find out here in a second well let's take a look at the assembly instructions first so assembly wise um just spitballing at this i mean it, it is going to go together a little different from traditional sisters so she's kind of attached to the terrain right here already and then going to be a left half or a back half rather with a right-handed her right-handed power sword and then it all kind of starts to go together as an assembly now her head her face is separate from the super saiyan hairstyle back here Aww. but that being said maybe that's maybe that gives it better design now, i'm a little skeptical about that um unless they hide they hid the gaps in there with uh you know some of the hair and stuff I would be a little concerned, but we'll find out here in a minute. I do like this little sectional kind of thing with the upper and the lower uh, kind of cape on the back. Um, then she also has, what is that little, fla oh, that's that little flappy right there. And then the backpack is actually two pieces, an upper and a lower. Very interesting. We haven't seen anything like that before. And then the rocks are going to be separate pieces around. They can kind of assemble this dynamic look. And then Kaganol, um, really interesting here where it's got like two parts to the front, which you can see right here where they put the colored slivers and then the his arms go on and his head goes on right there. And you know what? I didn't notice. I don't know if you can head swap that sister or Stern's head if you didn't like it right there. If you want to do like a Dominion head or something like that, it is possible. And we'll take a look at that once we uh, kind of get it together. So then you put all the little um what is that uh soul uh solitaire the little solitaire webway kind of hollow field thing i guess it's more of a hollow field than anything because they always have an involve save that's pretty cool to see it almost looks like he's kind of walking the path uh very cool so he here's his rules if you want to take a look at it but you've probably already seen it by now very interesting stuff uh very interesting stat line for both stern who seems like she could definitely hold her own against primary space marines and uh, Cagno, who definitely is in a slouch in combat, the only thing holding him back might be that uh, strength three on his weapon right there. Spear wise, here is uh, Stern. You can see she's got a whole lot going on. There's that back half, there's the cape. And the thing I was worried about with the face, can well, there's her front of her face. So let's take a look at that. And it's very shouty. And then there's the back. So it's got a nub on it. Hmm interesting i'm still not 100 percent sold on that although the back of the hair looks pretty pretty well detailed out i didn't even notice that bolt pistol where is that hanging from i guess that's on the back yeah i guess that's on her back okay cool and then she's got the leg and all the other little rock pieces and then the pariah very straightforward you know these parts are just going to go on the base arms and then that weird, I guess, little ornamental dagger goes on the front right here. Yeah, it goes over here somewhere. And then that goes onto this. I can't remember if he's a solitaire in the lore or not. I don't think he's a solitaire. I think he's just a re regular old uh, Harlequin. But the Demonifuge novel will be out July 7th. So I'll get my full color hardcover version of that. I still don't know the complete ending to that story because GW basically, <laughs> um, I never got the comic book. And then I think they locked the, they never did reprints. So I didn't even find out uh, until they did the reprint in 2016, which I didn't buy, very sad. Anyway, so very much looking forward to that uh, next week for sure. Let's, uh, let's get these models together and take a look.
And here's the pariah all assembled up. And I actually didn't notice. I thought there was some sort of ornamental blade, but it's actually, I guess, a las pistol of some kind or a shuriken pistol. Oh, no, it's that thing with the the one where they stick it inside of you and it's like it expands to monofilament. Huh, that's cool. So it's it's in a, it's actually in a holster right there. It was really hard to see. But, I mean, look at that face. Like, the detail work on this model is just very superb and you can see the little spots with the hair and the gaps and everything that's why sometimes it's good to use uh that really thin glue and you can see the other piece right here to his leg because it'll cover up those gaps and you won't have any issues and we just kind of assemble it that way in the videos just so you can kind of see where you know some of the problem areas might be as far as flash goes and things is definitely not too bad we've uh, we've seen way worse uh, in the past there and you can see where the other um the i think it was Oh, I lost it. I think it was right there, but actually that doesn't make sense. These are two separate pieces, so it wasn't that. And then Ephraim Stern her, herself. Now this model, I gotta give it more credit. I wasn't sold on the pose, um, but once I see it together here and they did hide that gapping in the hair, which I think is pretty incredible. I didn't realize her inquisition symbol and the purity seals are all flipped up as like she's basically coming down, landing, coming like jumping out of a webway or something like that, doing a force choke with our Daimani Fuge powers, and then just kind of landing or maybe um, just kind of exploding stuff around her. I don't I don't 100% know exactly what's happening here. Maybe like um, some sort of Resident Evil kind of Alice type thing. There you can see more dynamic look, and this is two different pieces. And I really like how they did this on the back here to make it look very three-dimensional and very, very striking in and of itself. And there you can see the gaps, but that was always a problem with the sister too. Uh, so nothing we didn't really know about, but I really like how they did that head. I was worried about it at first But it, it, it kind of came together very nicely and then there's her uh, sword sanctity and uh, it's very cool Very very well done. I feel like uh, GW has outdone themselves uh, $50 for this kit. Well, eh, it's a new precedent <laughs> um, I feel like if they were sold separately, they'd be $35. So I guess we're saving money there dot 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 and we'll just leave it at that so that is it for this one y'all thank you very much for checking out our unboxing build of Ephraim Stern and the Pariah and of course the new Inquisitor Draxus as well uh, if you didn't know this is actually Ephraim Stern's second model they put out a pewter uh, redemption sort of thing back in the early 2000s with Black Library uh, you can I'm sure Google and find out more about that if you're uh interested in it but i can tell you right now the sculpt isn't as good as this one for sure this is a way better sculpt and uh, it wasn't sold on the posing at first but i can respect and i definitely like the posing and how it kind of everything's flipping up here and it's very dynamic so i'm uh i'm uh, liking that so thank you very much for watching make sure to hit that subscription button turn on notifications uh make sure you get your hobbies for less at dicehead.com and miniature market and maybe more importantly have a very safe and healthy 4th of July weekend.